Welcome back to Satisfactory and our little picturesque valley where our coal is coming from. You'll see the production line here. And I'm down here again because our power station is growing. We need more power and that means we need more coal, at least until we get fuel up from the fuel generator, which will be coming up once we've unlocked it. However, to get that done, uh, we need to go and upgrade some things or add some things. So down here, we could just add another Man of Arc 1. That would work perfectly well. Um, or, in this case, we can actually upgrade this Minor Mark 1 to a Minor Mark 2 to double it. So if you have a look in the, the production side of things, you'll see Minor Mark 1 is 60 resources per minute, Minor Mark 2 is 120, so double, but it, it does take more than double the power. However, I should probably be doing Minor Mark 2 as a standard right now so yeah i'm just going to make sure that that, uh, that happens there are however uh, you did see this spot and then there's this spot that i mentioned previously with this big boulder on top that we can't get rid of yet because there's no sulfur to make gunpowder or any kind of explosive so uh there is another couple of spots right over here just towards there's a giant cave there uh, so just towards the north there is two more spots so if you want two more basically miners you can put them down and I can combine both of those. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to be doing just fine just by upgrading. It's uh, a little bit more power, but uh, I don't have to move anything else. And it's uh, pretty simple. So let's just, first of all, get rid of the Minor Mark 1. And uh, the conveyor belt we'll get rid of as well, just temporarily. And then I'm going to put a Minor Mark 2 down. And let's rotate you around. So you should be going out this way-ish. Um, yeah, but that, that should be close enough. Okay, and then let's grab a conveyor belt Mark III and just send it straight into our splitter. And then we just need to hook up the power. I don't forget to do that. I did that last time. There we go. So that should start up. I have noticed the difference between the two different miners. They... Oh, no, hang on. This one's got a larger top section. Yeah, it's got a coloured top section up there. So, slightly different model. And we should start getting um, coal out of here any second. Yeah. And that's going to come down to here as, as fast as it can and then split up between this coal generator, which is providing power, and then the rest of everything over here. Now, we did get a couple of comments from the previous episode saying there was some shortcuts. One, we should be able to place splitters down without removing the belt first. And I had a bit of a mixed, um, a mixed try at doing that. That wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would be. But the other comment... Uh, just mainly because I had some other things. We'll come back to that in a second. But the other comment was basically you can upgrade in place belts without having to basically take them away and then rebuild them again. So if I click with this, I should get an entirely new belt upgraded. Yep. And now this is tier 3. And if I upgrade that section and this section. Yep, this is all going to be moving much, much faster now. <laughs> I may run out of, uh, of um, steel beams. But, uh, you know, I'll upgrade this again next time we're down here. For now, it uh, should work fine. And it's now caught up with uh, our previous belt. And do I keep picking up... Um, do I keep picking up coal? No. Well, 120. Maybe I do keep picking up coal. And slight difference in the belt model. Again, the Mark 1 is 3 lights. The Mark 2 is 1 light. And the Mark 3 is 2 lights. Hmm... Anyway, aside from aside from my, my personal needs for that to be one, two, then three, well, we can just uh, replace these quite easily. So I'll see you back at the base once I've run back up there and we'll carry on with this episode. And after one other trip back to our base, I should now have enough to replace all the conveyor belt. And there we go. That is all the conveyor belt replaced. And we can probably also just replace, I mean, not that we need to, but we can replace these two side ones as well just to make everything consistent. And all the coal starts flowing through extremely quickly now. And down to the end. Now, originally I had four coal generators. We've now got uh, six. And I may even go to eight easily enough. And this is now upgraded. Good. And then on the other side, it's not upgraded yet. So let's just replace you as well. Because it's holding back the, the steel production, basically. That's the whole reason I did this. That most of it's getting consumed by the coal generators are not enough coming down here to where we need it for steel so this should be back up to full speed now it says 67 percent but uh it has got all the inputs it needs so yeah um how efficient the production is compared to the current maximum production speed that should be well it is gaining it is gaining okay 
75%, fine. So we should now start getting steel more quickly. And then we can decide if we want to upgrade this as well. Or indeed, probably even um, get, get some more out of these. But we don't need that just yet. We'll see if, uh, if that's going to do other job. This is all now backed up. Good, which is exactly what we want. And we should continue to get more stuff in here. Yeah, this is running quite quickly now. So, coal line upgraded with a double speed miner. And given we've upgraded our coal, well, it would be rude not to upgrade our original iron ore plant up to Mark II. So let's just remove that. Oh, sad times. That was our first really good, uh, random animation. First really good source of iron. Uh, let's just actually get a better one up here. So let's spin this around. And uh, is it going to be obstructed? It probably is going to be obstructed, isn't it? So let's just get rid of that for a second. And now we should be able to place it down just fine. And let's just get it lined up. There we go. And conveyor mark three. And the same thing can get upgraded there. And there. And up it goes. So we will be able to upgrade that all the way up this line, up into the top of the base. But I think what I'm gonna do at some point, probably fairly soon, is actually move is move this. I, I, I sort of want a production system that produces the iron ore uh, the iron ingots, I should say in a separate building, or the same thing with the, the copper eventually, if we need a lot more copper. Just so that we can have this building dedicated to just production, and I'm running out of space here to really do lots more stuff. Um, because, if we have a look at here, this only runs at 30 per minute. This can now, once we reattach power, um, where is the power? There we are. Uh, yep. This should be able to do 120 a minute. Yes, it can. So it can feed four of these, and we don't really... Well, we sort of may have the space, sort of, but it would really fill up this platform. So I think what I'm going to do is build another platform, probably up there, to be honest. It seems like a nice place to put it. Um, there is a, a fair amount of space. Let's just go and have a look if there's space over there for, for the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Yeah, there's loads of space. If we start building the, the foundation from around here, or even line it with that grid line, bring it up and over, we should be able to get another huge building out here, and then just pipe all three of those iron ore over here. And indeed, there's iron ore over there, remember, that we're not using as well either, that at the moment we're sort of just piping it into steel and then it's just backing up. Well, if we... Uh, we can't really produce prioritised splitters, that's sort of annoying that we can't really do that, but... We can just split it anyway and send some this way, and then there is a way to to reduce the amount that goes to the to, to the steel. We can't prioritize things, but we can do the sort of old uh, divide trick from um, Factorio. So you know, a splitter will split it three ways, so you can get it to thirty three percent, and then you could split that thirty three percent three ways, and you get down to well, about eleven percent, etc. So you can sort of configure how much gets sent to that steel and make it sure it keeps up with whatever you want. It's just not uh, the same as, hey, prioritise left, please. That would be nice. Developers, if you're listening, prioritise splitters would be great. Anyway, back to the topic in hand. I'm going to start building another building, I think. Okay, so here's a giant platform. We haven't put any walls around it just yet. I'm going to need to put smelters up here to replace those. And what do we need to do to replace them? So we've got 120 a minute coming from each minor mark two, and there's three of them. Uh, that means basically four smelters each if they're not overclocked. And we we'll, let's just assume we're not going to overclock by default. We can always get boost uh, capacity by not overclock uh, by overclocking them as well. And then we need to look at what speed can we transport stuff. So if we have a look at logistics, conveyor mark from mark three can deal with 270 resources per minute. So it can handle. <coughs> excuse me two of the three miners. Okay, we can't overclock the belts, remember, so we're limited by belt speed. There is a Mark IV belt, but we haven't got to it yet, so we should just assume for the moment we're going to end up with two belts coming out of here for the iron ore. <coughs> Fine. So let's go and see if we can lay down something that is relatively scalable and something, you know, that's very, very nice and neat up here for our smelters. So, starting with this then, we're going to want to decide where we want the output belts, and let's, for the moment, say we want the output belts, um, uh, let's put a pole down, let's say we want the output belts on this side, okay, and uh, for argument's sake, let's just say here, 
and here. Okay, and they're going to go down into our factory and then into the top section there where they're going to be used up. And we'll replace that lift with something a little bit uh, a little bit nicer, probably, well, you know, probably may even be that actual layout, but because uh, we're going to get... Uh, no, no, we should end up with just one coming out, I imagine. We'll see once I've figured everything out and done the maths. Anyway, output belts here. So input belts, uh, it'd probably be useful to have them. Um, well... That's a good question, because we want this to be scalable. So if we have our output belts sort of coming around here, and then down the middle of a double row, we've got to have our inputs going in. But we're going to have an unbalanced setup. We're going to end up with two coming in on one belt, the output from two miners, and the output from one belt coming in on the second one. So we're going to want to balance those out somehow, and I'll figure that out later. So uh, I guess do we want to decide whether we want to put them all down the center, and then the output belts on the outside? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, why don't we put them down the center and then we'll have the output belts coming over here. So I'll want to start uh, sort of roughly in the middle. So, so let's assume that right here is the center line and we're going to have at least two conveyor belts. And we can stack them if we want to. And that's quite nice, often looks quite good. But uh, we'll play around with that. We can do that once we've laid everything out. So then uh, we're going to want two belts at least, or at least a space for two belts. So let's again just assume two belts here at the back in roughly the same kind of positions as we've got already. And uh, we're going to bring them all down here and decide what to do with them. Okay, here's how I've decided to lay things out. I did decide to go stacked. Uh, we are going to build a couple of stack lines in the middle. It looks the best, honestly, rather than two parallel lines on the floor. And you can walk around underneath them as well. And then I've got six smelters on either side. They're all hooked up. They all have the iron ingot recipe ready. So they're all ready to go. <clears throat> now, the problem is splitters and constructing them. Uh, you may have some problems with these yourself. So let's just go through the possibilities. One is, if you just put a splitter down, <clears throat> scrap you, you can line things up with these. So everything's nice, nice and perfectly square, all happy days. However, you can't raise that up in the air. You can't position it on anything. You can position it on a belt and you can upgrade in place. So if I get it roughly right, you can sort of do this and it'll position. Occasionally you'll get a slight quirk in the design of the belt either side of it, but not very often. And that works. However, it's not perfectly lined up, which is a little bit of a shame. So, uh, if you're going to want to line it up, you're going to basically just remove your belt, first of all. And then you're going to want to be able to put them down and then decide what you want to do with them. So, if we put down, for instance, uh, one here, let's see if this actually works. So, we've put down a 4 meter foundation. It's quite tall, as you might imagine. Uh, let's go back up there. What I wanted to know is if we can put down stacked conveyors like this. So, it needs to go in the middle of this and line up with these two. And that does. Okay. Good. And this is the higher belt then. Because everything should be aligned by two meter increments. I really, really hope so. If it isn't, then this is going to be slightly annoying. But uh, if it is, then this should be more straightforward. So if you put in a two meter one there, we should then be able to do the same thing again. And put down a, um, a splitter around here. Um, splitter. And can we actually attach this in the right place? Will it let us place it? It looks like it, it looks like it's about to. Uh, and once I get this in the right place, um, there we go. And yeah, I mean it's clipping, but it's clipping reasonably well. Okay, so it's like a double stacked splitter. And then can we actually just attach two to one to each view? No, that's going to have a problem, because then it is going to have an issue. Is it just the fact that I had that other one? Yeah. So we can't place them directly below one another like that. It has to go at least one further up, which is doable. That's no real problem. So um, we have to do that. Fine. Okay, so uh, let's just see if we can get it down. So let's get that four meter one up. And then we want a two meter on top. And I just want something to stand on. Then we'll go for a splitter, logistic splitter. And uh, is this online? Yep. Then we can take this off. 
and that off and that off and now what we need to do is probably put another stacked one on here just keep everything everything nice and level and now that top one can go straight across and then we can we should be able to now have enough room to build this underneath uh using a smaller foundation uh yeah we do we do still need a foundation just a, just a two meter one will do okay and then put our splitter in uh where did that go did i build another one what did i do with that foundation could have Oh good, it did build. It wasn't just me. <laughs> sure that built. Uh, anyway, splitter. And then we'll put this back in line with these two. Yep, there we go. Now we have stacked splitters. It might be nice for those to show like they had some supporting structure or something like that. But we can put in multiple belts into the factory this way. And, uh, you know, have them run that way. Etc. And then we can decide what we actually want to do with the splitters. Now remember, we're going to have not, not necessarily a full belt, but we could end up with two full belts if we take all three of those iron ore miners and maybe the ones, some ones over from over there as well. We might be able to mix in two actual belts. So uh, we could do it like this, or we could have the first six of these, three on either side, do get getting split from one belt, and then the next six coming from splitters that we put further down there. Um, doesn't much matter which way we do this. Uh, for now, I can leave this option open. It's a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance to have to construct thing this, things this way. So for now, I'm going to leave them out, and we'll do it uh, the, the, the sort of stretched out fashion. So we're going to do three splitters, and then we're going to have three more, but fed by this top belt, which is going to come down over the top and then down and into the rest of them. So I'm going to set that up, and then we should be able to just basically take. I built from here straight into the uh, Mark 3s, or indeed into, you know, into this kind of approach, just to keep things nice and level near the uh, near the entrances to the smelter. What do you guys think? Got any improved designs? Well, you can put it in the comments, and while I construct the rest of this. Okay, and these are now constructed. So just to explain, we've got these that can take 30 all per minute. And we got bunches of four of them, basically, because one of the miners can produce 120 a minute. So that's basically those two and these two. So that's going to be the first two splitters. The second two splitters is going to be for the second uh, miner, Mark um, 2, which can also be put onto the same belt without actually maxing it out. And that will perfectly go into all the, these first eight smelters. And then we've got this second belt over the top, which is going to be coming from our third spot, which is going to bring in stuff for the last two. And if I want another spot, another um, oh, iron spot from over there, then we can extend this out for at least another two, if not another four, quite easily. Some points to note on building something like this. Um, you can't place the, the splitters down first and then the belt like this. Uh, the belt comes from actually constructing these conveyor belt stackables. Uh, like here, like that, you get the idea. And you can do the same thing here with these, so you can place them wherever you want, really. There we go. You get the idea, I use that as a bridge. However, it won't build if this stack is down, this uh, split is down first. It will basically say it's encroaching on something else. You shouldn't be able to build them like this. You shouldn't be able to build one thing and then another, and it'd be different than if you build them the other way around. They should be the same check and there isn't at the moment. So either that is too close, and it doesn't look like it's too close, it's not actually clipping, uh, or um, there's just an issue with placing the, the, obviously the belt down afterward, after placing these. In any case, it works if you place the belt first and then place the splitter afterwards, putting a foundation down. And then once you take the foundations away, you can then place the belts like this to get them down to the floor level, or you could keep them, you know, up here and place them down at the end. I'm not quite sure which I want to do at the moment. I'd sort of like to... Uh, well, yeah, what's the, let's see how close we can get these without... Um, we'll, we'll see which ones of these will actually attach. Okay, um, to... Oops, they're wrong height, aren't they? Yeah, they need to be a little bit higher than that. Let's just take a look. Will you attach? I don't think you're going to attach. Let's, oops, uh, wrong place. And let's see how far away we can attach. So, are you going to go in there? No, you're not. You can go away. You will, however. 
And then we can just do it like that, and that will keep me sort of like nice floor space. Yeah, I actually prefer that than coming down to the floor like this. So I'm going to go rebuild those. Not going to show it on camera, of course, but you get the idea. We've got eight for our one belt and then four for the second belt. And everything is nice and neat and nice and straightforward. On the back side of these, these should be straightforward. I assume the mergers are going to work quite well. <laughs> that may be a, a weird assumption to make, I know. But uh, if we have the, the mergers here, for instance, and the output's going that way, uh, we want it to line up like that. And these probably should be quite close. Yeah. So if we just run like this... And then for this plus one, I can just basically put it uh, like here, I would have thought. Oops. Put a pull down. And that was make... Oh, we are missing steel beams. But that should make it so it's a 90 degree corner. And then the rest can have mergers, etc. all the way down here. And we laid it with two equal belts on either side. Because um, they'll be merged. That this, this belt on input is going to be split between these last four... And it's going to split either side, which means then the, be the outboard belts will be naturally balanced. I hope. <laughs> Let me go and actually get more steel beams, and then we'll finish the build off. And the factory is now ready. So we've got uh, output on the outside. We had to go for the uh, the, the merger here because there was an encroachment issue with uh, the belt. You can't just seemingly get a belt from inside that to this very easily on a 90 degree so just put another split um, another merger in and it should be fine lots of floor space to run around on and then a two output belts on the outside hopefully naturally balanced come around here yeah there's a rock in the way and some trees but we went above ground for that and uh, we shared it with two output belts okay so now i need to get some more steel beams and then i just need to basically uh reconnect these two here uh yeah these two here for the moment with the belts up there so i'm going to just run some belt across and a bit of rearrangement and then send our iron ore out here so we're just going to cut this off and uh get rid of all these belts we shouldn't need them anymore there we go and uh we should be able to put then a third minor mark two down but for the moment, I need to get these belts all the way over over there to our input. So it has to go past the factory, so it's going to go up that hill and then around the far side. And we're now done. We've got two lines of iron coming out. I just ran out of... Um, it looks like it's uneven because it, I ran out of Mark III belt. I, rather, I ran out of steel beams, so that's why it's uneven. But uh, that's just a couple of patches around that I actually need to do. So... Here we've got two minor Mark IIs now, you can see tell by the top section. They're both feeding onto one belt, and that belt looks fully compressed to me, or close enough. That's going all the way around the back and into the, the factory, we'll go up there in a second. And then at the other side of the factory is coming our output, which is our two iron belts. It can be neatened up, of course, but I just wanted to get it finished so that everything was hooked back up so the factory didn't stop. And I'm probably going to take fall damage. Oh no, it's fine, my boots are okay. And let's go and take a look up there. So now we can just get on to this belt and we should be able to run really quite quickly. Once we get to Mark IV belts, this will be even faster. But for the moment, um, we're going to be fine. So up we go here to the top. Take a right turn, left turn even. Whoops. And uh, around we go into the factory. OK, and they can see the splitters are working. They're sending stuff off to the left and right. And if these are jammed, then it will then send the rest of the, the product straight through. You'll see it's not slowing down at all. So it's going through here. You'll see some of it's depleted. Then it's even more of it's depleted. And then it gets to the end over this side. And there's relatively little left on these end ones. So it is using up all of that single belt. Uh, nothing is piling up here, importantly, because that's why you know. So, you know, we're all fine. And then we've got these extra two if we want a second one coming in. Because I haven't put the other minor Mark II down on the third spot down there. However, on the output then, we have lots of iron coming out either side. Again, quite naturally balanced, it seems. I hope. <laughs> and uh, that everything goes back down to the factory. So we're done. New expandable iron ingot factory. So obviously this hasn't been new stuff. This has been stuff that we already have been doing, but sort of, 
Yeah, haphazardly. And whilst the factory needs to get larger, and it does need to get larger because we're going to be using a lot of stuff, we want to separate out these processing areas for specific resources into their own buildings, I think, and then having the fastest belt we can shove those into our factory. And right now, that is all uh, basically level one belt. You can tell because of the three lights for level one belt that don't even go there and uh, you can see i've got some of this upgraded so i will then upgrade the rest of it but for now i think we're pretty much low on steel beams more than anything else and we've got a steady supply of steel coming in it just takes uh it's not very fast it's 15 per minute and um it's not this isn't piling back by any means so if we need to speed up the steel then we need to do that but uh that's fine and then i can just get passive you know steel beams here and then I can just construct more belt out of it. It's mainly belt that's consuming the steel beams at the moment for me. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Lots of scaling up this episode. And uh, if you've got any questions, or if you have any better suggestions, any nicer uh, options for laying this out, feel free to put them in the comments below and indeed mention them to other players, which is the most important part. Otherwise, feel free to just thumbs up. and oh, that's going to annoy me. <laughs> just thumbs up if you like the episode. And uh, subscribe, share if you normally would on the bell if you want notifications for future episodes of Satisfactory and we'll see you next time probably for some uh, heavier steel stuff and I think that may well be the uh, the heavy modular frames we need to get that at the top right of the screen you can see it says current milestone alternate heavy modular frames all of the alternate mar alternate uh, blueprints are cheaper than the originals in terms of raw resource cost it just depends which one you actually get from each of the uh, the hard drives you, uh, you find out in the world so uh, the idea of using rubber and uh, using quick wire, which I have no real other use for at the moment apart from uh, power poles, is sort of appealing. Although I guess we're going to need a lot of plastics. Apparently we need huge amounts of plastics, so that, that uh, rubber recipe may well compete there. Anyway, we're pretty much done for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching.